Hello, my name is Bobby Backick. I'm the head physiotherapist at Millwall Football Club. And Bobby, we're here at Sainton Football and you've been looking at uh, the, the role that a physiotherapist can play in injury prevention and injury recuperation. Yeah. Um, at a grassroots level, we don't always have the luxury of a professional physiotherapist or perhaps even somebody with anything more than a basic first aid course. But there are basic signs that a coach can look for that might suggest that players injured or risking injury aren't, aren't there? Certainly are. I think the first most important thing, whatever level you're at, is listen to the player. If the player presents with something, always listen to them because they can obviously feel something and that's when you use your skills to assess it and, and see if it's something that will prevent them from playing or something that they can actually play through might sound a bit harsh, but something that's not going to inhibit them playing and also make them play safely so it's not going to cause a further, further injury down the line. So yes, no matter if it's a four or an eight year old or a 33 year old, listen to that person. And then don't try and be the expert, try and you know, there's lots of people who do have the, the right qualifications or background to assess an injury, so yeah. it is crucial to get an expert opinion. It is, yes. Yeah. So I think you need, if, we're saying in our profession as, as physiotherapists, never be vain, so if you don't know, just ask. It's as simple as that. Play it safe, because ultimately you've got to care of that player, person, you know, to, to consider. And within a game, somebody goes down holding the knee, what would your, what would your first sort of stages be in terms of, you're running on the pitch, what, what are the signs that you're looking well, first of all, you're using your eyes, so hopefully you get an idea of what's happened by seeing the actual incident happen. And then again, it's still even other person's you know, been playing and they might, they might be in pain, but to ask what, what do they feel happened, what happened, get a good subjective, then quickly use your eyes and your hands to assess what you see there in front of you. And if there's something, again, not correct, you're worried about saying safety first, take, take that player off. And again, that, that's regardless of uh, level or ages. So I think always safety first. And if, worst case scenario, there is an injury, what would be your advice for maybe grassroots coaches who are keen to get the star player back in, ready for the cup final? Is there any advice you could offer to, to those guys? Uh, well, hopefully he's got lots of star players that will help him out, but again, you, you've got to look at their, their long-term development. I know we all want to win games and at all levels it's competitive, but you've got to look at the long-term. I think you perhaps get more benefit from producing a young player who goes on to do well later on down the track than rushing one forward for a one-off match, which you may win or may not win. And So there's 10 other players there as well as that 11th person, which will help you along. Again, I'm reiterating, I think safety and consideration of that player is the most important thing. I personally couldn't live with myself if I thought I'd rush someone back too early for my own vanity or whatever reason and then that person developed a long-term problem. That, that, that's not correct. We've got to look at the, the big picture. What would you suggest as a route for a coach who's really interested in, in sports medicine or sports science in general? He wants to learn a little bit more about so, that area. So there's, there's courses run, there's FA courses run. So I think just like all things, knowledge is power, get yourself some education and have a look at it and you, you actually enjoy it and then you feel more confident as well, which is important because even I've been doing this like eight years and running on pitches for eight years, a professional standard. You still get nervous and you're still worried that you're doing the correct thing. So uh, you, you want to be as, as, as confident as possible dealing with every scenario and that confidence will transpire to the people you're dealing with as well. So I think is it. knowledge is power, hence why we're all here today as well. Thanks very much. No problem.